How you doing guys? Cincinnati Picker here. Wanted to show you what I got this weekend. Um, I really didn't get to go to that many yard sales. Uh, I went to a couple Thursday. Um, Friday I didn't get to go. My daughter was sick, unfortunately, so I was staying home with her. And Saturday got rained out. Um, just a crazy storm. If you saw my video, you saw how crazy it was. I just wasn't really going to stick out with the lightning and the thunder and everything else. So... But still found a lot of stuff. Have a lot of cool stuff to show you guys. Uh, first up, I got these Pokemon 3DS games. Um, they were two bucks each. Didn't even try to talk them down because uh, they were selling for fifteen bucks each on eBay. So that's a quick uh, forty-five dollar flip right there. Um, I got a Nintendo Wii system, and it was in a Louis Vuitton box. Let me grab it. Here is the box. Um, no purse inside, obviously, but the boxes alone are selling for like $20 to $30 on eBay. Which is pretty crazy. I guess people just want the boxes for their purses. Also down underneath the Wii, I found this dust bag. Louis Vuitton dust bag. And these are selling for like another $15, $20. Bucks. So, nice little bonuses with that Wii. I paid $20 for the Wii. It had Mario Kart in it. Uh, right here, and have the controllers, all the hookups, everything. Haven't tested it yet, but still, for twenty bucks, I've got the the system, this game, the dust bag, and the Louis Vuitton box. So that that twenty dollars should turn into probably seventy five to hundred, because that Mario game goes for like fifteen to twenty. Um, I got a bunch of golf clubs, all at one sale, bundled them all together. Um, it was one of those where. They were like texting the dad to see what he wanted, so I was waiting around forever, but they were good clubs, so I knew it was going to be worth it. Uh, I got this TaylorMade Ghost Tour Corza putter. Got a, another TaylorMade RBZ Hybrid. Actually, these are all TaylorMade, come to think of it. Um, R1 Driver. This one is pretty new. Uh, this one I'm going to get the most money for, probably like 80 bucks on eBay. Um, this is a little bit of an older TaylorMade driver, but still a good one. And another hybrid. I paid $90 for all five. I think, I think I can get around $150 to $200 for all of them. It just kind of depends on how I price them and how fast I want to sell them too. Um, got this Monopoly handheld. Uh, paid a buck for it. It already had the batteries and everything. Um, tested works, which is nice. And this one sells for around 15 to 20. If you saw my video yesterday, you saw I got a bunch of N64 games. Some of them already sold. I've already sold three of them. I picked them all up for 50 cents a piece. These are the only two I have left. Um, so I paid four dollars for eight of them. Three of them really work worth anything, but the other ones were good. Um, sold the Golden Eye already, sold one called Blast Core, and third one I don't remember what I sold, but I've already got like 30 or 40 dollars of sales of those, and these are going to be like another 15 to 20 bucks. Got a bunch of new VHS tapes. I think there's 13 of them. Uh, only paid 5 bucks. Should be able to get 20 for them. Got this Fossil handbag. Um, I just thought Fossil made watches, but I guess they make handbags too. It was five bucks. She wouldn't come down on the price any, but it was worth it because it looks like they're selling around 30, 35. Um, looks like they sell pretty well too, so should do all right. I think it's genuine. It's got the Fossil in there, so should do good. I got a Polo Golf. Polo, uh, sells the tag, has the horse guy. I don't think it's a fake. The house I bought it from was like a half a million dollar house, just huge. This neighborhood I went in, I mean, they were like mansions, really, really big houses. This is a small, so the size isn't great. Um, you know, I might end up having to put some kind of best offer or something. Um, I guess they had a kid that was like an amateur pro golfer or amateur golfer. Because a lot of their stuff had that AJGA insignia on it, 
Um, I think it's the Junior Golfers Association, American Junior Golfers Association. So I'll have to include that in the listing. Um, they also had new hats, all with this AJGA, a um, dollar each. So it was a no-brainer. I looked them up. They seem to be selling okay, around you know ten dollars each. Um, this one I thought was really cool. This is the 2017 U.S. Open. She said it hadn't happened yet, or it recently happened, um, and it has a ball marker. So this this one might fetch twenty. I'll have to look it up and see what this one's going for. But yeah, here's some of the other AJGA hats. Kind of neat. Actually, I like this blue one. I'm gonna keep that blue one. The Mario game, if you saw my video, I got this as a guy was leaving a yard sale. He beat me there. The lady sold to him for a dollar, and I offered him five for it. We settled on eight. You know, I'm not going to make a ton of money. I'll probably get 15 out of it, but I'll still make a few bucks. Just thought it was a funny story how I was getting it as he was leaving. This is a professional microphone. In the box, she said she used it. But it's in really good shape. Only paid three dollars for it. I've already got it listed for twenty. Oh, this is really heavy. Okay, I got a pitching machine. Um, you can't really see what it looks like because it's still banded and sealed and everything. But I looked up the same model online. They're selling for about a hundred and twenty and hundred and fifty, but with free shipping. And they're kind of heavy. So I paid 50 for it, so I'll probably list it for around 90 to 100 and then have it calculate shipping. Because if I'm shipping this to California, I'm gonna, it's going to cost 40 bucks just to ship the thing. So I'm not doing free shipping. Uh, I'll just list it and hope somebody, you know, within a reasonable distance wants it and not they won't have to pay a crazy amount for shipping. Um, that's all I got. Uh, pretty good haul for not going to that many sales. So I'm, pre I'm definitely pretty pleased. I think I might even hit up the flea markets tomorrow and see what I can find there. Thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, please subscribe by hitting the icon in the corner. And I will see you next time.